Padang is a, is a grassy field. So then, wait a minute, why is this place called Padang Bai? It turns out that there is a grassy field. It's not just, it's not on the land, it's in the bay. It's a whole seagrass meadow, this extensive, vast, beautiful seagrass in the bay. In addition, you still can find pockets of very nice coastal forest in Bali. In fact, some of these habitats are actually very hard to find in Singapore for the same reason that our coastal areas have been have undergone this radical transformation over the years. Because of Bali's relative proximity to Singapore, we could make the inference that this is what Singapore used to look like a very long time ago. So one of the big ones being the, the rocky shore with all the tidal pools. We used to have a lot of these uh, in our coastlines, but we don't have them anymore. The objective of the ecology section is to give students an understanding of coastal habitats, coastal species, um, and how these habitats and species interact with one another. It also gives them opportunity to see uh, how human influences on the coastline have an impact on these species and habitats. As my only like first-hand experience knowing like the ecosystem out there, right? It was really more than I expected. Biodiversity is more than just like coral reefs and like animals living in the coral reefs, but it also expands out to like coastal areas where there's like rocks and where waves has reached that could carry like biodiversity there. It was really interesting seeing how climate change affects the ocean, affects the marine animals, and eventually it's going to affect us human beings. Yeah, I've never snorkeled before, so getting to see the corals really up close it was quite interesting, especially with regards to coral restoration. Like, I was quite interested to learn that corals grow in a similar manner to forests. So I didn't know corals do the same thing as well. So uh, yeah, that was actually quite interesting to see the parallels between marine and terrestrial environments. The changes from the beginning when uh, everything seems daunting, people are uh, stressed, worried, etc. to the end where they are completely comfortable in, uh, in doing their own independent projects is, uh, is actually fantastic. On the last few days, we were expected to come up with our own research question. I think it's one of the more important and crucial part of learning. Things don't always go that smoothly because we can't always rely on the teachers all the time. At some point, we have to gain our own independence. Even though like this cohort is small, it's really very cosy and like a family. I feel it's really the experience that bonds you with your friends. I feel that when you really get to apply what you learn in the classroom in the real world is when you will actually learn. It's not just the academics, the the science of ecology, which is important and which we want to do well, but it's also to convey a sense that there's also something very beautiful, even magical, about the experience. A kind of magic that gives purpose and meaning to why somebody would want to study environmental earth system science.